everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Uh, welcome back to another product review. And yes, it's another vacuum. But this one is different. What's different about it? First of all, it's huge, you can tell, right? But it's not just a robot vacuum. It's also a vacuum and a mop. What it does is that it vacuums in the front and it mops in the back. And let me tell you, we actually used it yesterday, and this is going to be part two of this video where we, um, where I give you my first impression, uh, and we're very, very impressed <laughs> with what it does. So what I'm gonna do with this first part here is just um, show it to you, tell you what it does, tell you how it works, and then we're gonna jump into the demo and final thoughts. So yes, you can tell this is uh, relatively big. It's the size of a uh, probably 10 gallon uh, garbage bin. So the unit itself is at the bottom right here. And then this is the compartment that's going to have your water containers. So I'm gonna move the camera a little bit closer so that I can show you what this is all about. This is a self-cleaning vacuum. So I'm gonna talk about the vacuum part first. There's a little canister inside the robot. You know that from all of those other robots that I've uh, shown you. But when it comes back to the base, there's a button right here, and that button is automatic dust collection. And when you press that button, you'll see in the demo later on, basically what it does is that it sucks out all of the dirt and the hair and whatever you got collected in that little bin into this bag right here. And the bag is pretty easy to remove. Uh, let's just remove it like this. So then there's two water containers. There is a clean water container right here. Let me pull it out so you can see what it looks like. Uh, okay, so this, and this is really heavy duty plastic, by the way. So this is where you put your clean water. And you don't have to put a cleaning product in it, okay? Um, you hear her? She's talking. Um, Technically for wood, you shouldn't have to use any product. And then this one right here is the dirty water tank. So what this will do is that it will mop the floor and I'll show you the pads in a second. Uh, let me close this. Right after it vacuums. So again, the front part of the vacuum is going to have that little brush and it will suck all of the dirt, the pet's hair, the crumbs, whatever you got on the floor will get into the little container inside. And behind it, you'll see that there's two mop heads that are rotating. And those mop heads use the water, the clean water that's in here. And then every eight minutes or so, the robot goes back to the base. And this is the kicker. It goes back to the base for a full mop head cleaning. So it rinses the mop, it cleans it, it sends the dirty water into the dirty water container, and once that it's determined that the mop head is clean again, the robot checks out and goes back exactly where it left off. So over the period of maybe an hour or two hours that it took to do this entire floor here, this mop head was cleaned and rinsed at least 10 times. So you're probably wondering, what do you do with the mop um, that's wet and possibly dirty? So the dirt is taken care of because it's being rinsed several times. And the wetness is taken care of too because there's a little fan that's, on, that's going to run for full six hours to dry the mop head. So that way you don't have any odors and you don't have any wetness and possibly mildew or uh, any kind of uh, mold growing on the mop pads. So it will suck all the dirt into that collecting bag and it will suck all the dirt from the um, mops into the dirty water container. And all you have to do at that point is empty out the dirty water, refill the clean water, and when it's full you just empty out or replace the um, vacuum bag. So before I show you the actual robot, I just want to show you that all of the instructions that you need are actually going to be on the inner panel here. You have a quick operating guide, you have function buttons for the uh, uh, buttons that are on the front, I'll show them to you in a second, and then you have cleaning and maintenance. And I'm also going to show you everything that it comes with. Now you can use it with the app, you just have to scan 
this and install the app and that's how you're going to get your entire floor plan um, mapped out via GPS and you can tell uh, exactly where your robot is, where you want it to go. You can also put some invisible um, virtual barriers if you don't want it to go from one room to the other. The front button right there, this one is mop cleaning. So it will do the mop cleaning automatically, but if you want to do everything manual, you just click on that button and it will start cleaning the mop. This is the return home button, so if you um in the middle of something and you need the vacuum mop to go back to its space because you don't want to be interrupted, you just click that and it will recall it. And this one is all for manual function. If you want it to start or pause, you do it from here. And again, this one is the automatic dust collection. So if you click on that, everything that's in that little container inside the robot itself will get sucked in and put into this vacuum bag. So this particular uh, model from uh, Roid Me is called the Eva, and it does have a female voice. And there's a panel right here in the front uh, with a little display right here that will tell you that the Wi-Fi is connected. This is the battery um, little indicator. Obviously, I'm on full battery. When the battery is charging, you will see the little thing uh, loading, you know, like battery loading. Uh, or whatnot. This here tells me that the battery is fully loaded and this little fan right here, if you can hear it, is indicating that the mop is being dried. So I'm going to show you everything it comes with. So the vacuum itself, when you open uh, this part right here, again it has the just like the other ones, it has, again, just like the other ones, dust box is removed. has a dust compartment. So all of the dirt is going to initially be contained in this. And then when you press the automatic dust collection button, all of the dirt that's in here will get sucked into the machine or the base and it will go into the vacuum bag. So let me put that back in. Dust box is reinstalled. There's a reset button right here, they all have that. This here is pretty cool. This is actually one of the cleaning uh, tools that they give you, it's just a regular brush. And it also has this little thing here that looks like a letter opener. This is to cut strings, threads, hair that may have gotten caught in the regular uh, brush. So let me close that. And I'm gonna turn it around to show you what it looks like on the underside. So of course this was used already yesterday, so you can see that the uh, pads are a little bit dirty. But for comparison purposes, when you purchase the machine, it comes with an extra set of pads. So this is uh, the before and after of the pads. Okay, so you can see that it actually did mop something. Uh, it also comes, by the way, with an extra four of those vacuum bags, so you can uh, replace them easily. They give you an extra one of those brushes, you get an extra um, HEPA filter for the canister, and they give you one of those big cleaning brushes to clean the inside of the base as well as your big water tanks. The features are pretty cool. This actually only has one of those rotating brushes. The majority of the vacuums that you're going to see out on the market will have two sets. And you actually, I thought I was going to miss one, that one was not enough. And it turns out that it's perfect because this one uh, will get everything that's underneath chair legs or edges of walls. And since it follows a perimeter, um, it actually doesn't need this one. This one would be running on empty anyway. So it has one brush like this. This is the 360 rotating wheel. You have those little sensors right here at the bottom those are to make sure that your vacuum knows when there is a big dip like for instance staircase so when the vacuum goes forward and those are detecting it it will stop it and it will immediately retract or backtrack so it won't fall down the stairs this is the regular beater brush that you would see in any of those robot vacuums it's super easy to clean out you just pull this out you pull out your brush you use the tool they gave you and then you just put it back in and that's also the brush that's going to be used for uh, um, carpeting 
and here are the mop pads and those mop pads by the way are easy to put back on they are on velcro the best feature are those two wheels here you see that I'm pushing them up and down this is to allow you to climb um, up to five millimeter in particular if you have carpeting so what happens is that as soon as the machine senses that there is a rise in the floor and it will know it's on carpeting then the machine itself will be lifted up so that the mop doesn't go on your carpet you will only have this brush here and this beetle brush here on your carpet but the mop won't touch it and as soon as it gets back on the floor and it senses that it's been lowered because of the um, difference in height between the carpeted area and the floor then your mop heads will be um, back onto the floor so I just wanted to show you the features and what this is all about um, you'll see when I do my actual first impression and review that I'm not happy with the software to install it on the phone Scott and I had issues with being able to do that uh, but now it's working it's, it's just I just felt at the time uh, that it wasn't that user-friendly so I'm gonna get it started again and then I'll jump right in into what I filmed uh, yesterday with my first impression and final review So, so far my first impression is that it's uh, pretty quiet. So it looks like it's returning to its base, probably to clean up the mop. Yeah, it's gonna go and uh, clean up the mop. So just in case you were wondering, well, how long is this mop gonna go and keep mopping on the floor with a dirty uh, pad? not too long it's been less than three minutes and it's going straight into the machine and it's going to clean up the mop and then it'll start again and what it's doing really is um, rinsing the mop and transferring the dirty water into the other tank So that it can restart and go back to the floor with a clean mop. So what I'm going to do is let it do its thing. Uh, it's going to go through the entire floor. Um, you know, I mean, it's got that sensor, that 360 sensor, so it already mapped out my entire floor. So it knows when it's done, um, when it has areas that haven't been mopped. So far, the first impression is it looks like it's doing a good job with the um, vacuum and the mopping. The one negative so far is that we really struggled, really struggled to get it connected. It wouldn't connect at all to my Android and it's only connecting so far to the iPhone. <laughs> And even with the iPhone connection, at some point we lost the uh, connection and we had to redo the process. So it can be non-user friendly. honest this is really cool <laughs> it vacuums and mops at the same time like what else could you ask for maybe ironing maybe you could do ironing too um okay so the water is just a little bit so it doesn't get your floor super wet so if you have um a vinyl floor or um you know any kind of floor that can't be wetted too much it's perfect so far i really like it um i like the way it's working it's uh, quiet so you could actually be watching TV and have this thing running in the background it makes way less noise 
than the other one. Uh, so you can definitely run it at night, for instance, and then the following day you come in and uh, your floor is vacuumed and mopped. What else can you ask? So I'm going to continue to let it work and give you my little uh, bits and pieces here. Every time I encounter something, I'll talk to you about it. So far, it's doing a really good job at getting the uh, dog hair that's stuck at the bottom of the um, chair legs. So far, I'm telling you, it's really cool. And it hasn't been passing by the same area twice, so it's still doing the whole perimeter. Um, and it's done the uh, uh, almost all of the living room, and right now it's in the dining room. I don't know how well it's gonna go into the kitchen. That's really the area that should have this mopping thing going on every day, right? I'm hoping it will pass my little bump um, in the kitchen. We'll see what happens with that, but otherwise, this is really cool. So let's look into this. So this was full. That's the clean water. And it went uh, through about, I would say, 55 to 60% worth of the water. And now let's get horrified. We're going to look at the dirty water tank. Uh, yeah, so that was my floor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is all of the dog hair that it's picked up so now I'm gonna go and put it back in and it's gonna have to get suctioned into the bag You can see that this has been emptied. So I don't know if you can tell but the floor looks pretty much cleaned and vacuumed. I'm not seeing any dirt around edges, uh, definitely none around legs of furniture. Let's go check the dining room. This is an area here that always collects dog hair and I'm not seeing any so it did a good job here and then the legs for the chairs don't have any hair either. So of course there's areas that it won't get into. So it's areas like this because it's too small. Areas under the sofa and it didn't make it underneath my uh, uh, buffet. It didn't make it under the table either. But then again, none of my uh, previous vacuum were able to do that because it's too low. So it doesn't go underneath uh, those chairs, they're too low. But otherwise, I would say good job. And again, you can hear it. It's drying the mops. Okay, so this is a review, right? Uh, the first impression is very good. Out of all of the floor vacuums that I've had, um, you know, like those robot vacuums, this is, I think, my third one or my fourth one? My third one, I think. Um, it does everything that the other ones were doing. Um, the missing second brush on the side doesn't seem to be making much of a difference. It grabbed every single speck that was on the floor. Um, the very first one I had did not have a rotary brush underneath it, so this one does. Um, so it makes a big difference, and I'm sure it will make a big difference on the carpet as well. As far as the mopping is going, the floor looks clean. Um, I don't see any paw prints or anything. It went on the floor a couple of times um, in the same areas and it did every single area. Now, by the time it finally reached the kitchen, the battery was running out. So it went back to charge. I'm assuming that when it goes back out, it will probably start with that area. We'll see. Um, if it doesn't make it to the kitchen, I'm okay with this because we mop the kitchen, you know, ourselves. Um, but this so far, I'm very impressed. I thought that the whole idea of 
vacuum and mopping right behind it would actually um, drag dirt more than anything else because the vacuum there's no way it's gonna get everything before the mops get to it and apparently it did um, and you saw the color of the water now this floor was mopped five days ago maybe so if you have pets like we do um, this is definitely something to consider I know it's expensive it's about a thousand dollars so it's not really affordable I'm very very thankful for the company to send it to me for a review because there's absolutely no way I would be able to afford it now considering let's just say I was able to afford something like this is it worth the price I would say yes however again the setup was difficult we really had a hard time setting it up and to be honest we looked at the app on Scott's phone and we don't see any activity on the map which tells me that I actually had it running on manual which is okay you can do that you don't need the map the map is only going to allow you to um, put virtual barriers like if you wanted to not go into certain areas and things like this um, and again, if it encounters a stairs or a big dip, it will not go through there because there's little sensors uh, on the bottom and I showed you those sensors to you. The unit itself is big and quite frankly, um, I would prefer it in black. That's just me because I think it would blend more in my room if it was in black. But I understand that pretty much everybody now has gray walls. <laughs> or very light beige walls um, so they probably you know would not notice it but it's not small okay it's the size of a probably 10 gallon garbage bin so far I give it an A not an A plus because of the app and a difficulty uh, pairing it via the Bluetooth and again it didn't work at all on my Android it only worked on Scott's iPhone which is fine because he's here again and he's the one who's going to be operating it during the day or at night before we go to bed um, and you can press the uh, play button and it will go on manual and it does exactly the same thing I'm very impressed with the fact that it goes back every eight or so minutes to clean the mop and rinse it and I'm super impressed with the little fan that goes underneath it to dry the mop once it's done so while it's recharging the mop is drying so you don't have odors and you don't have mildew so this is really like the top in terms of technology and gadgetry and advantage of having a, a thing like this so that was my review I really like it I really really like it it's a little big it's a little unsightly but it's quiet and so far on the first try it's done a very good job at mopping my floor and vacuum and grabbing all of the hair and you saw that it literally sucked all of the stuff that was in the container into that big pouch so I don't have to empty it I just have to remove the bag uh, either empty that bag or trash it and you know eventually I'll have to get new bags so it's super super convenient if you can get one that was my review I hope you enjoy it give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner and find me on Instagram and Facebook under Migrate Challenge. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash Migrate Challenge and my Etsy shop Frenchie and Tubby for vintage finds and channel merch at Migrate Challenge Gift. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.